So we're gonna start with this. Hey. It's around midnight. I woke up 18 minutes late for the teaser photos. I didn't intend to vlog today, but as I was wrapping up my BTS rap line albums, I just thought, why not? It's gonna be different because I don't have much of the clips from today because I didn't intend on talking about it. So I'm just gonna be telling you guys about what happened with my day and I guess also what's been going on lately. My plan for tonight, I'm awake at midnight and I don't really care at this point because you know time is not real in this weird year right now i feel like it's the start of my day i had a little nap a while ago <laughs> so what i'm gonna be doing today is wrapping the rest of my rap line albums and i'm gonna be putting it up my wall and i think because of the new teaser photos I really want to cut my hair right now. It's not a good look anymore. I don't really know how to style it. This is, it's not so much of a flattering hairstyle for me. So I'm just gonna cut it off today. Let's see what we get out of this. So these are the albums that I got. I'm really happy by the way. They're huge. I didn't even expect that they're gonna be this big. It's actually not an album by the way, they're just their center board. I got this from my good friends at BTS Gal and their PH. They delivered their goodies for their cup sleeve event today. Again, I didn't get to film it, but I did post a few photos and videos on Instagram. I'll show them here too, but if you guys want to see what other stuff they are going to be selling or doing like with events, check out my tags on Instagram. I'll leave it here, I'll leave it on the description below. I already split the goodies with my mom and I kept the cup sleeve because I collect them. I got my Yoongi photo card. I also have Namjoon, but I don't I can't find him there on my bed. They're doing this really cool thing. When you get this photo card from them, you open up this app called Art5. They gave an instruction and it's supposed to be the back that's going to work on this. Today was pretty great. I spent the weekend with my mom again. We caught up with videos and run episodes. I did a whole retro theme photo shoot to be able to use it on my social media and promote Dynamite. It was inspired by two of my friends who already did it too. They also did like a retro photo, which are Adenixi and B, my very good friends. I just took inspiration from them and I think it's like a really fun way to get everyone else hyped for this comeback. By the way, Dynamite is gonna be the new single. They haven't mentioned when the album is going to come out, but that's gonna be BTS's new single that's coming out on August 21st. If you've been out of the loop for a while, I, I swear this here. I think I'm gonna cut this first because I, I can't stand looking at myself right now. <laughs> I normally cut my hair without my shirt on. I don't like it getting stuck. I think I'll do this off camera and I'll see you guys later when it's done. So I learned. I guess I'll just leave my shirt on because it's a crop top anyway and I'll just leave that to your imagination. We're gonna start with this. Look girls and really ugly. Why do you cut your own hair? It's because I'm cheap and I'm 
not gonna be paying someone else to cut my hair. I'll be okay with like just with messing up my own hair, but I will not pay someone to do that, you know? Oh yeah, this is really short. That is bomb. Well, if the back is clogged, no one's gonna see it because I'm not gonna be going out. It's the beauty of quarantine at the moment, you know, it's just the little things. I'm gonna be using um, thinning scissors so it's not like straight. And I'm gonna be trimming. Yeah, that's a really blunt cut. Yeah, thanks. No. Oh! <laughs> I look so stupid. <laughs> I'm glad I'm sharing this experience with you guys and I hope you guys are clowning me because you know that's what I look for. So just make making me clown. Clown. Haircut. What else do we have to do today? Today. I'm talking as if it's like an actual day for me. Oh, um, this is probably late already, but if you guys are new to this channel and you just found this video, my name is Den, not Dennis or Denise or whatever you guys are theorizing about my name. It's just Den. Hence the name. I make videos about my life and my fandoms but it's basically just BTS ARMY right now so if you came for relatable or sometimes in my videos I also have my friends and my mom reacting to things <laughs> we're all shooters for BTS here I hope you get to subscribe by the end of the video what I wanted to talk to you guys about too was that in May I kind of lost touch with BTS I felt bad about that my friend said that it's okay to not to depend my happiness on them at first i got defensive because you know i want them to be like my only source of happiness but that's not right i thought you guys might needed to hear this too yeah it's beautiful that we experience healing with the help of bangtan but they're also their own person too and they have their own problems and they also have their own different sources of happiness that's what i think one of the things we should keep in mind as fans like with friends right we can depend on them when we're low or when we're happy but we can't expect them to always be responsible over us they can't always make us feel better and that's okay because our friends are not therapists it's unfair to be treating them like so and i think it should also be applied to our hobbies or for example yeah bts because they're our mutual interests right now yeah i hope i hope i'm making sense but my point is that it's okay to look for happiness in other places it can't always be just one thing. Sometimes it also doesn't have to be like happiness in association, like through your friends or your fandom. It's totally good and healthy to take breaks from something, even if it was something that you really enjoyed and you kind of lost interest in for like a little bit. And that's what has been happening to me. And I've also been talking about that with a lot of my other army friends and they've also told me that they've had like phases throughout the years of being fan that you just sometimes lose a bit of interest and then when you come back it's good for me because when i come back i get to see them with fresh eyes again and everything is exciting all over again so i'm not telling anyone to stop paying attention to them or anything but if you are getting the feeling of being overwhelmed by trying to keep up with everything going on right now I think that's okay and you shouldn't blame yourself or feel bad that you can't keep up with the rest of the fans I always say this to my friends who are having trouble right now like they feel pressured that they have to be productive or they feel like they have to do something during this period I tell them that time is 
all the world can offer right now and I think what we can offer back is some kindness and consideration and that's especially applicable to yourself too. Remember, love yourself, love myself, peace. that's it i'll see you guys on the next video i hope you enjoyed watching oh yeah let me know what you think about this haircut i'll see you guys on the next video bye